More than 30,000 students arrive in Plymouth in September every year. Their arrival is a welcome boost for the local economy and local businesses, particularly for the local, local nightclub scene. But with such a large influx of young people in such a short space of time, invariably problems arise. The biggest concern among local residents and Herald Dealers is the amount of noise go, go. created by some students on their nights out. To find out just how loud they can be, Harold and I came to the North Hill to meet some of the students. It's a city. They got to expect them. They like comes good with the bad, isn't it? Yeah. Good with that. To be honest, that's all I've got to say. During pressures, it can get quite rowdy, but after that, it quietens down quite a bit. I've noticed it for years. As well as students, we also spoke to local residents, including 24-year-old Lewis Manuel and 45-year-old Lee Oliver. You do have to accept that students are, yeah, they, they are making noise, they can make noise and they can cause an issue for residents, but these are people that are trying to better their own lives and they're putting in a lot of work despite what people say in the media. Um, I have a complaint, but uh, my friend's mum, she, she only just complained to the council about Last week, I think. This is the party bus, which is free for students and general members of the public, apparently. Taking students uh, every 15 minutes from Northfield down to Union Street, which is our next stop. We're doing a, we're doing a news report about? about there's been some issues about noise. Yeah! <laughs> Seriously, I'm right <laughs> Some residents feel though. If Everyone I know in Block they 2 are annoyed with it. Everyone in Block 2, Pilgrim, I know is annoyed. We're here to study, we're here to study to get an education. They don't 